Um, if you've got plans, uh, particularly tomorrow night for New Year's Eve, uh, weather doesn't look great, particularly in the evening as we're going to be starting with some showers. It will be warm, so you're not going to be cold if you're outside. Uh, but in terms of outdoor activities for any of those kinds of things going on, uh, <coughs> you have to expect for some rain as we go. So let's take a look at what's going on here across the country. Here's our storm that's going to affect us starting to develop now. Um, some pretty significant con convection happening currently right now over Louisiana. This storm is going to ride up to our west. We call these cutters because they cut on the left side. Uh, instead of going up the coast, they cut inland. Um, and uh, this storm and probably our storm after this one uh, for next week are both going to do this, which is going to bring us on the warm side of the storm. We're pumping warm air in from the southeast across New England. We're going to see that in a bit as we take a look at some other maps um, and give us some rain. Let's take a look at that. Uh, as you can see, we do have some pretty significant thunderstorms here across Louisiana. Um, on the front, we do have a system also here to our north. This is all lifting north. You can see high pressure here off to the east. This is kind of like a summertime high, but we're almost in the position of a Bermuda high. And around this high pressure, we have clockwise flow at the surface, which is pumping air in across. Uh, and also in the jet stream, we've got a big dip in the jet stream and then a big uh, ridge across the east. And of course, that is what's leading to um, our warmer weather and rain instead of snow. Um, and this pattern looks to continue at least for a little bit beyond this storm as well, unfortunately, uh, if you're looking for snow. All right. Uh, in terms of that upper level here, you can see it. Here's your jet stream. We've got lots of energy crashing in along the Pacific uh, coast and along the uh, West Coast. Um, but what that's doing is it's creating a big trough across the western half of the United States, uh, which is leading to a big ridge. Ridge is when you have warmer air, especially aloft. Uh, and that's happening over the eastern half of the United States. And you can see we're right under the heart of that, which is why our temperatures are warming. So if you're looking for a day to get outside and feel a little spring-like, um, if you've been, you know, if you're getting a little tired of being cooped up inside and you're uh, looking for some spring skiing conditions or just to get out and go for a walk, today's a great day for that because we're going to be in the mid to upper 40s today with no rain. And even tomorrow, rain holds off through the daytime tomorrow. So good days to get outside and do stuff. It's a little strange for um, the end of December, early January for that kind of January thaw feel to happen already. But it is um, certainly an opportunity to get out there and do that. So try to take advantage of that if you can. Try to find ways you can to enjoy. Whoops. Before we get to this one, let's take a look at temperatures. Um, you can see here's our temperatures just streaming north. Um, you know, we got 50s uh, to our west across Ohio, uh, even up into southern Ontario. We got some 40s and 50s. That's headed in our direction. I don't know if we'll see 50 today or tomorrow. Uh, we have a chance at it both days, um, particularly today with a little bit of sun. But I think for the most part, we'll probably hang in the upper 40s today. But it's going to be warm. Uh, um, valley locations, certainly in Manchester, uh, down to Bennington, and the Route 7 corridor down that way, even up into Rutland. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see 50 there. And across then the Connecticut River Valley, would be surprised to see 50s there as well. The only thing that would hold us back from that is um, we are definitely going to see an increase in clouds as the day goes on. And so um, that will limit that to some extent. Tomorrow we probably don't get there because of the clouds. Um, we're just as warm, if not a little bit warmer, aloft tomorrow. But anyways, it's going to be warm either way. Upper 40s, lower 50s doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, uh, in terms of your work we are sorry your new year's eve for your new year's weekend forecast today like i said upper 40s way above average temperatures um, a few peaks of sun uh, more of that sun in the morning than in the afternoon but um, definitely will be some sun we cloud up overnight fully temperatures drop back uh, to the low 40s in some locations higher elevations into the upper 30s saturday uh, pretty much a repeat of today. Uh, rain will be approaching, and by late afternoon, by after 4 o'clock, we could start to see some showers. Um, so definitely, but for the bulk of the day, daylight hours were um, not raining. Temperatures in the upper 40s, really no sun tomorrow, kind of a gray day. But, again, not a bad day if you want to get outside and get something done uh, and try to enjoy it. Even a skiing day, not bad. It'll be a little slushy at the base areas. But, um, and, uh, you know, uh, but with not having to refreeze overnight or be real soft, it'll feel like spring skiing. And the skiers do get a chance to make quite a bit of snow over the last week. It's not terrible out there. Not the best either, but not too bad. So you have a chance to do that. Saturday's not bad for that. Yeah, for your New Year's Eve uh, plans, if you're planning to head out or anything like that, it will be raining. Not super heavy. This is only going to bring a, a quarter to a half, maybe uh, six-tenths of an inch of rain in some of the harder, or harder rain spots. It's kind of a light rain. That lasts through uh, through New Year's Eve, New Year's morning, but starting in the evening, and uh, temperatures will be in the mid or will be in the 40s basically throughout the storm. Um, after the rain in the afternoon, temperatures do start to fall a little bit. We get a little breezy on the backside of the storm, um, and that drives in some uh, 
more seasonable temperatures, still above average, actually. Um, and that cold, we're not going to get a cold blast behind this storm at all, but we are definitely going to see some cooling down in temperatures. We're looking at in the upper 20s for lows Sunday night and Monday with a breeze. It'll feel a little more like winter that by the time you get out there on Monday morning. All right. Um, as we head forward from this, we are still kind of in this pattern for a bit. It doesn't look to be the kind of pattern that's going to last for weeks. So, um, but we'll have to wait and see a little bit on that. But um, I'll be back on Monday morning with a look at your work week forecast. Um, and also I want to uh, encourage you, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, to do that. And uh, also I uh, want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Oh, and one other thing, forgot to do this, but uh, your highlights. Temperatures well above average for this time of year. The only sun will come Friday. Good skiing weather Friday and Saturday with slushy conditions near the base of the mountains. Saturday night and Sunday, we get rains about a quarter to half an inch rain. And cooler temperatures return Sunday overnight with a brief, with a brisk breeze after the rain clears out. All right, like I said, I'll be back on Monday with a look at your work week forecast. Thanks for telling me.